Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're going to look at a pre-built, pre-assembled printer for under $300. So the printer next to me is the ANET A3. Uh, it's currently on sale for around $250. They retail for around $300 uh, US. It is a 150 by 150 by 150 build volume, um, which isn't a large printer by any means. However, it does come fully pre-assembled, pre-loaded and ready to go out of the box. Once you open the box, all you need to do is uh, peel off the crappy tape that they put on there by default, which is just a, a white packing tape. Then after you've got rid of that rubbish tape that's on there, just put on the build surface of your choice. You can see here that I'm running Kapton tape and then I just put a smear of glue on top, Elmer's glue, um, and that seems to work beautifully. In fact, it sometimes sticks too well. This printer is probably aimed at those who want to get into 3D printing. They don't have a lot of money to spend or they don't want to drop five, six, seven hundred dollars on a machine and they don't know if they're even going to like the hobby or the uh, experience. This machine is perfect for those who also don't want to build their own machine and don't want to put together a kit because they may not feel comfortable or confident enough to do so. So that's where the A3 really shines. Out of the box it just works. All you need to do is level the bed and um, you can see my other videos on how to level your bed. It's, it's dead simple. Um, and that brings me to my first dislike. A lot of the ANET printers have the screws on top rather than underneath the heated bed. So once you've got your capped on tape, you're going to have to punch a little hole through that just so you can reach the Phillips head screw and that will adjust the bed. But from the models that I'm showing you now, um, surprisingly, I was actually truly surprised at how well this printed. Now I've done no tweaking to the firmware, I've done nothing like that. Um, the Simplify 3D profile I'm using I just built up myself and I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I was truly amazed at what such a cheap printer can do. My expectations for a $300 pre-build was very very low to say the least. But um, as you can see from some of these models it's quite quite acceptable. So as I was saying, it's got a heated bed, it runs on linear bearings, it's got the LCD at the front, it's also got a memory card or SD slot on the side, which can be a bit finicky to access, but um, once you get the hang of it a few times, it's not too bad. The spool holder is on the back of the printer, which is done just by a piece of simple threaded rod and a few nuts, and then they provide you a uh, 3D printed end stop to stop the spool falling off. The machine is marketed as an aluminium printer, uh, which it is, not, it's not false marketing or anything, but it is primarily acrylic with a small thin layer of aluminium or aluminium over the acrylic to stiffen up the body of the unit. All of the prints that I'm showing you now are all done at 60 millisecond, which is actually quite good. And as you'll see, the X and Y axes are on linear bearings. So as long as you keep them lubed up with a bit of lithium grease or something like that, then you're going to be fine. It's not a noisy machine. It prints accurately, nice and smooth. And um, yeah, I am actually really surprised. I thought this was going to be a negative review, but as you can see from all of the prints, it's not too bad at all. Um, obviously, it's not going to be in the realm of a Zortrax or an Ultimaker or something like that, but for 300 bucks you can't really expect that. For the price point I think it's excellent for newbies or people that want to get in and just don't want to spend too much, see if they like it, or those who have already got a printer and just want a backup for printing spare parts for their other machines or something like that. With the flash sale that's on at the time of recording it's 250 US like I was saying. You can also print a variety of filaments on this machine. Uh, ABS, PLA, PETG, whatever you like, but uh, if you go into the abrasives just remember you're going to need to get a new nozzle eventually as they do wear out, but um, for PLA and ABS can't fault the machine. Anyway guys I hope you like this really quick quick review of the A3. Um, it has exceeded my expectations by a long shot. I wasn't expecting much at all for the money, 
but it does work it does what it says it's going to do it's going to print your stuff and it does it very well if you'd like to purchase one there'll be links in the description as always and if i've got any coupon codes for discounts they'll be down there also don't forget we've got patreon if you wish to support us via that and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe all right guys i'll see you on the next video